the number of electric vehicles on the road more than quadrupled to 16.5 million by 2021. And there will be even more. Beam unveiled the EV Arc to give owners of electric vehicles a place to recharge. It combines solar panels and rechargeable batteries into an area that is suitable for a parking spot. The output of the panel is 4.3 kilowatt, and depending on the model, the batteries may hold up to 43 kilowatt hours. Installation takes less than an hour, and it can be customized to operate with chargers from any type of electric vehicle. More than 100 American towns have already adopted Beam. 59,400 for a single EV arc. Using a Linti to charge your smartphone and other devices will help you save about 5.47 kilowatt hour of electricity every year. Also, by reducing your CO2 emissions by more than 3 kg, you will benefit the environment. Alinti is a plant that uses solar panels and photosynthesis to produce electricity. It has the power to fully charge your smartphone in around 60 minutes. Alinti also comes with an integrated voice assistant to help you with plant fertilization and watering. The pot also functions as a light. The price of the basic Alinti set, which comes with seeds and a watering can, is $229. What is the connection between a physiotherapy clinic, a chicken farm and a European village? Solar collectors with virtue, of course. These hybrid collectors concurrently produce heat and energy. Using surplus heat to warm water, photovoltaic cells are installed in vacuum tubes. Up to 275 watts of heat and 70 watts of energy may be produced by each virtue collector. It's a small solution that works well with solar panels and fits on sloped roofs. Virtue can also connect to the Clarity platform around the clock, providing you with information about its functionality and warning you of any problems. Global solar power capacity increased by 132.8 gigawatts in 2021, a trend that was made possible by smaller teams as well as larger corporations. As an example, this is Meridian, a product that was just highlighted on Indiegogo. This solar panel may be folded up and has a total capacity of around 6 or 7 kilowatts. It is a low-maintenance, quiet solution. Remules, the first completely transportable 2 kilowatt system with an integrated GPS module in the world, is a rival to it though. Remules, weighing 190 kg, has been subjected to NATO airdrop tests. Not only may solar energy be used for expenditure, but it can also be stored. Given the ongoing rise in the price of power, it makes logical. For example, a newspaper previously calculated that, at the current cost per kilowatt hour, running a dishwashing cycle would cost Finnish families too. 2. Under these circumstances, EP cube units are a fair purchase. If 19.9 kilowatt hour isn't enough, you may build up a microgrid with six units to store 119.9 kilowatt hour, which should last you for roughly a week. The top version can store up to 19.9 kilowatt hour. Every EP cube has a 7.6 kilowatt maximum power output, and energy management is made easier with the help of a useful smartphone app. Introducing Solario Safe, the first solar stove that performs similarly to a gas and wood burner. Designed with impoverished countries in mind, it saves people money on petrol and wood. As a result, Solario Savings pays for itself in two years. In terms of cooking, it is adaptable and may be boiled, roasted, stewed or even grilled at temperatures as high as 1000 C. When cooking on it instead of a gas stove, the cook is protected from smoke, carbon monoxide and fire hazards. It's 99% recyclable and simple to clean. Joe Flow is here to capture the solar energy that the Earth absorbs and stores. The efficiency of this direct exchange geothermal system may save up to 50% on heating and cooling costs. It may be used in practically any structure and in every climate, according to the creators. Trail Heat provides a comparable solution. It is installed around 2 meters below the surface and offers heating in the winter and cooling in the summer. It's quite effective. The house will be 1 degree warmer if the outside temperature drops by 20, which will save heating expenses. 
Whether they are at work or on a stroll, individuals use their cell phones for around 142 minutes per day, according to 20, 20 figures. Phones accompany us frequently. The people at Waterlily have realized this and have developed a gadget that uses current or wind to charge your smartphone. A minimum speed of 3 meters per second is required for the first choice. Regarding the second, 0.2 meters per second is more than sufficient. Additionally, Water Lily may be fastened to a bicycle or watercraft. It has a power output of 25 watts, to put it briefly. Additionally, it can charge other devices in addition to cell phones because of its USB ports. Third is a dual-purpose treadmill. It also helps you conserve electricity and maintain your fitness. You may create up to 200 watt hours of energy and attain speeds of up to 24 km per hour when exercising on Verdi. Among the many different workouts is one that simulates pulling a sled. This machine weights 258 kg, thus moving it will make you perspire. However, because of its weight, it is sturdy and able to hold up to 150 kg of people. The cost of the Verde G690 variant is $12,500. Allow me to inspect this rainwater gathering equipment while we remain on the water. Why may you require it? Well, for emergencies like as droughts or interruptions in the water supply, or merely to cut costs, it's interesting to note that authorities in certain nations even reimburse a percentage of the costs associated with installing these devices. You can view components of the rain collection system on the screen. One hose, for example has the capacity to gather up to 1,200 liters of water in an hour. A unique sensor is provided by rain harvesting to monitor your supply. It simply shows water levels and other data straight on your smartphone and is designed for tanks up to 4 meters high. A team from Spain called Soliolico devoted a decade and around $5.3 million to their effort, and it was well worth it in the end introducing the first wind turbine in history to have solar panels mounted on its blades. An additional variant for power line poles was made by Solio Loco. A single wind turbine may provide up to 4 kilowatts of power at its peak. By absorbing and transforming carbon dioxide, Solio Loco's invention may also filter air provided it is protected by a unique, patented shell. Notable is the profitability. While the initial outlay is comparable to that of standard wind turbines, Production is 25% greater. Rainwater that has been filtered is safe to drink. That should be sufficient justification for adding life source filters to your rain gathering setup. Indeed, their cost can go up to $5,500. But life source's most advanced version can cleanse almost 21.5 million gallons. With the help of coconut shells and activated carbon granules, it not only protects against filth and dangerous pollutants, but also gets rid of offensive smells. All things considered, LifeSource is the most highly recommended system in America because to its extensive filtering procedure. Mark Nearing, a Canadian engineer, devised a clever method for producing free power. Simply install this wheel to generate up to 7.5 kilowatts of power building if your home is near a river. It was quite easy. Nearing worked in his garage most of the time. He did, however, have some difficulty persuading regulators that the wheel did not damage any fish or disturb the river. In relation to currents, a 3 meters per second minimum speed is required. Nearing is willing to acknowledge that he isn't making money from mass manufacturing these wheels. So send him an email if you would want to give it a try. In addition to technical drawings, he is happy to give some useful advice. Fuen power has been used by humans to power mills, sails and windmills throughout history. The wind, though, is not always predictable. A solution has been discovered by the members of Henry Ford's Innovation Nation program. They surround a wind turbine's blades with a shell that is filled with helium. They can now readily catch wind at an elevation of around $610 meters. This innovative wind turbine transfers its produced energy to the Earth by automatically determining the ideal height. The creators think that at least 300,000 powerless villages worldwide might benefit from their invention. What are your thoughts on this innovation? 
Now that we've extracted energy from the air, it's time to do the same with water. Kara Pure is able to assist with it. You'll get about 10 liters of water a day if you put it in the kitchen, for example. It isn't just water, though. It is enhanced with seven minerals and purified by UV sterilization, such as selenium and calcium. As per the manufacturers, drinking a glass of Kara Pure water is an excellent way to start the day and enhances the well-being of your skin. Kara Pure has the extra benefit of purifying the air, which improves the ambience of the space. The cost of this useful gadget is $699. Let's now travel to India, the country where biotech produces its biogas plants. A standard model may be assembled in less than four hours and only takes up one square meter. The creation of gas is handled by anaerobic bacteria. A single burner gas stove can run continuously for two hours, with the waste from a household of three to five persons. This indicates that the installation will pay for itself in a few years. Additionally, you may empty the kitchen sink's wastewater and add solid garbage. 